God damn it. Game over again? I don't get how in all these years I still haven't beaten you once. We need to stop making the loser pay for takeout. I've easily spent a small fortune on you over the years. I don't suppose you're feeling charitable enough to go best 3 out of 5? Ouch. That hurt. Right here. <laughs> Not even a flicker of remorse. You're really going to be so cruel to me after you cancelled our plans on Sunday, leaving me to watch the new Lightyear movie all by my lonesome. And this isn't the first time you've cancelled on me lately. It's become a regular occurrence. Uh, yeah, yeah. I know. You had the dentist. But still. I missed you, dude. The movie wasn't the same without you there. Oh, you know I'm not just saying that. Everything's better when you're around. Why do you think I've put up with you for so many years? And remember, you didn't always have such a sparkling personality to draw me in. Oh please, you were such a nerd. And you barely spoke. I remember spending the first few months of our friendship thinking you were mute. You would only communicate through head nods and gestures. <laughs> hey, but hey, look at you now. You've really come out of your shell. You have a good circle of friends, a nice job, and overall, you just seem... happier. But to me, you'll always be my little nerd. <laughs> no, that's not a bad thing. You know I love you, dude. No, I do. I love you. I know this may seem sudden, but not to me. Okay, I guess I'm doing this now. Um, <clears throat> I, I've had a crush on you for, well, years now. Since we first met, actually. From the moment you started to open up to me, I loved everything I've seen. Your real laugh. Not the giggle, <laughs> the real gremlin laugh. The way you grip the sleeves of your hoodie when you're nervous. The way your eyes light up when you talk about things you're passionate about. It was impossible for me not to fall in love with you. <laughs> um, uh, and I was wondering if, maybe, after all we've been through together, you'd like to try and be something... More? N no. But why? I... I thought... Y you're not ready for a relationship with anyone. Oh. Uh, I... I see. I... I understand. I'm sorry if that made things awkward, I just couldn't keep that in anymore. No, no, I'll, I'll be alright. Just give me a second, will you? Can, can we talk about anything else, please? Um, that's a nice stuffed bear. Where did you get that from? You won it at the fairground on Sunday? Hmm, huh, cool. I'd heard the carnival was back in town this week. I was actually going to ask you if you wanted to go, but you... Wait a second. I thought you were at the dentist on Sunday. No, you definitely said dentist. Why would you lie to me about going to the carnival? You've gone and done stuff with other friends before, so I know you have no problems telling me about that. 
What secret could possibly be so important that you keep it even from me? I, I don't... Wait. There's someone else, isn't there? You've met someone. That's why you've been so distant. Why you've been cancelling on me at the last minute. Why you've started to change your look. What do you mean I'm imagining things? Are you joking? Take a long look in the mirror. Since when have you started caring about how you look? When have you ever worn anything other than sweatpants and oversized hoodies? Hell, you're even wearing your hair different. And you're trying to tell me nothing is happening. How stupid do you think I am? Have you been... <laughs> ditching me to see someone? Don't lie to me! Is there someone else? Who are they? To you. A friend? A... What? <sighs> so, when you said you weren't ready for a relationship, you, you meant just with me. Sorry? You're sorry? Why? That I found out? What? Was it easier to phase me out of your life than to tell me the truth? After all these years? You're sorry? No. No. I don't think you are. Not now. Not yet. But you will be. What do I mean? Oh, nothing at all. I'm merely implying that, being your best friend, I've been exposed to a lot of the aspects of your life that others don't get to see. Hobbies that you keep hidden out of embarrassment. TV shows that you'd never admit to watching. But another benefit of being so close to you is I also get unrestricted access to your room and its contents. Like the diary you keep hidden in the second drawer of your bedside table. The diary filled with your innermost thoughts, feelings, desires, where you scribble such secrets into Secrets that you kept even from me. Or thought you had. I wonder what would happen if I shared some of the more colourful topics hidden in those pages. What would your parents think? Your friends? Your lover? Hell, I bet if I worded it right, I can even get it to flag up for the HR team at your job. Don't look at me like that. Don't you bloody dare. Everything you have now, your job, your friends, your life, is because of me. Because I took the stereotypical high school, shy, nerdy kid under my wing and spent years boosting your confidence, years investing my time and effort into bringing you out of your shell and introducing you to new people. I gave you everything. And now that you no longer need me, you're casting me aside? <laughs> Phasing me out of your life and replacing me with this, this two-bit romantic. <laughs> well, no. No, I don't think so. 
You don't get to use me to build you a new life and then throw me away. No. As far as I'm concerned, if I gave you this life, then I can take it away with me. But it doesn't have to be this way. You don't have to lose everything. In my time as your best friend, I've forgotten many secrets you've told me. I could easily forget one more. But this one, oh, this one is just too juicy. Can't be done, I'm afraid. Not in my current role. My position as best friend. But as boyfriend, well, there isn't anything I couldn't do for you. I'd move mountains, part oceans. So keeping one little secret? Easy. Oh, no, no, no. Don't think of this as blackmail. No. Instead, think of it as the natural progression of our friendship. The inevitable blurring of the lines between friend and lover finally reaching its conclusion. You've always needed me. Without me you were weak. Scared. Nothing. But, but now you don't have to be scared. I won't ever leave you, because now I need you too. I, I almost lost you, but I promise I'll never let that happen again. Oh, darling, shh, it's all right. Everything's going to be all right now. Come here. Now, darling, I expect you'll break off your current romantic attachment. Now that you're taken and all, will you do that for me? Answer me. Unless you'd rather take your chances. That's what I thought. Now, seeing as there are no more secrets between us anymore, how about we curl up in front of the TV for our first time as a couple? I think this is going to be the beginning of something Beautiful.